Episode 157, You Are Crazy. After Gerald mocked him, Kendrick's facial expression changed. Zack, who didn't even care about Tristan in their circle, was now ridiculed by Gerald. This was simply going on the streets naked, looking for excitement. He was just about to open his mouth to reprimand, but he saw Zack pressing his hand down, indicating that he did not need to say anything. Without Kendrick's interference, Gerald became more and more reckless. A beautiful woman like you should enter the entertainment industry, standing under the spotlight and enjoying the feeling of being instructed by thousands of people. I've invested in promoting a few new people before. They are all plain people. I only found a few big directors and a few relatively good screenwriters. I easily raised them up. Now they are all small amounts of people. The movie I invested in previously was also very popular. You should have heard of it before. It was The Thunder that was released a while ago. Let me tell you, the box office of that movie was close to $70 million, but I only invested a little. It was merely $20 million. In the past few months, when I reversed my investment, it was uh, $50 million. Excluding the other expenses, I also earned nearly $30 million. And the female lead I'm using for this movie has even won the Best Actress in One Fell Swoop. This is an international award. After returning to the country, there are many people queuing to look for her to film. There's no way they can be too busy. I even contacted a director previously. He's a world-renowned director who brought along his own writing team, which had a few scripts in mind before I got a hold of them. The production crew is being made, and I already have my male lead. He's one of those bigwigs, hard to work with, so I've been trying to find a female lead to accompany the film. Good director, good script. Now there's only one less female lead who can hold up the scene and make people's eyes light up. I think you'd be very suitable. No matter if it's in terms of temperament or looks, you're a good candidate. Right now, I just don't know how your physique is. If you're interested, we can find a place to take a look. As long as it's suitable, I'll arrange for you to be the female lead. You don't have to worry about acting. Acting is nothing nowadays. As long as you have good looks and a good figure, nothing else is a problem. Kendrick could not sit still any longer. After all, he was a friend. At this moment, he had lost quite a bit of face. But at this moment, Zack spoke. She is my wife. Isn't it a little too much for you to speak like this in front of me? Too much? Gerald sneered and said, Zack, for the sake of Kendrick, I will call you Zack. There are some things that are not too much. Maybe you think this is too much, but I think it is normal. My normal life circle is like this. If you have the capital, then speak. If you don't have the capital, then shut up. Just like when I talk to her right now, I have the ability, so I can say whatever I want to say. You don't have the capital, so you better shut your mouth and listen quietly. If you're unhappy in your heart, that's none of my business. Who told you that you don't have the capital? Zach asked, Have you always been so good at chatting? Gerald became even crazier. That's how I chat. Why? Are you unhappy with your ears again? I even told you today, I will poach in front of you. If you are not convinced, show me your capital. Let me see what your capital is. Let me lose face in front of you and get slapped in front of your woman, okay? He was very proud. Very proud. He was even proud to the point of being arrogant. Zack chuckled and said, You are really arrogant to the extreme. Gerald sneered and replied, I have been so arrogant since the start of the fight. No one can do anything to me. Don't you think this is infuriating? This little wall kid really deserved to be taught a lesson. However, just as Zack was about to teach him a lesson, someone next to him attacked first. Kendrick suddenly grabbed Gerald's hair and knocked it hard on the table. Even the porcelain plate was smashed into pieces. The next moment, he grabbed the red wine bottle and struck it on the back of Gerald's head. The scarlet wine flowed down the back of Gerald's head, but it was also unclear how much blood was mixed in. After that, the mute Gerald was pulled up by Kendrick by his hair. The broken wine bottle was next to Gerald's mouth. Gerald, if you dare to say anything disrespectful to Zack again, 
I will make you swallow this wine bottle. Do you believe me? It was very fierce. At this moment, Kendrick had the aura of an invincible big brother in society. He was full of vigor. Gerald slapped Kendrick's hand away, wiped the back of his head with his hand, and looked at the blood on his palm. Kendrick, you actually attacked me for a country bumpkin. Fine, you can do it. Gerald got up angrily, turned around, and left without saying a word. He looked very angry. Kendrick looked at him as if he wanted to say something, but in the end, he didn't say anything. He turned around, picked up his wine glass, and toasted to Zack. I'm sorry, Zack. He's not sensible. I apologize on his behalf. Kendrick raised his head and drank all the wine in his glass. Zack looked at Kendrick with a smile, which made Kendrick panic. You protected me in time. After Zack said that, Kendrick felt cold sweat dripping down his spine. When he was at home, Tristan had told him that even if Zack was stabbed, he would protect him. As long as he did not die, he would have great fortune. Just now, in order to protect Gerald, he wanted to put on a show in front of Zack, but in the end, he was seen through by Zack. Regarding this matter, Kendrick was somewhat unconvinced at first and asked about Tristan. That was what Tristan told him back then. If you really offend him, then hurry up and die. Don't implicate our family. These words sounded like a joke. That was why Kendrick laughed, but Tristan didn't. That was why Kendrick did not dare to laugh after that, because he could tell that this was not a joke, but a terrifying fact. Therefore, he felt an unprecedented fear after offending Zack. Zack, I... Before Kendrick could finish his words, Zack waved his hand. The matter is over. It's fine. Change a bottle of red wine and continue to eat. But I will not punish you tonight. He paid for it. Zack did not miss this meal. He just wanted Kendrick to feel at ease. Regarding Gerald, he had indeed thought of tidying up, but Kendrick's actions of protecting him made him see that Kendrick was different. He wanted to find a way to protect his own people. He didn't care about this kind of little intelligence, but he appreciated this kind of loyalty. Therefore, he was willing to give Kendrick face, and this matter would end here. In fact, after hearing what Zack said, Kendrick really heaved a long sigh of relief. <sighs> All right. Thank you, Zack. Tonight's game will be mine. The wine game in the private room was restarted. The atmosphere was full of joy, and unhappy things were swept away. However, Gerald, who was wearing a bright yellow jacket outside the private room, was furious. Damn it! What is it? As for whether he was scolding Zack or Kendrick... It was unknown. In short, after scolding him, Gerald started the car and went straight back to upstate. That was where he, Gerald, truly belonged. As long as that country bumpkin Zack dared to enter upstate one day. Ha <sighs> ha.